Hello YouTube, welcome back to my video. In this video, I am going to show you how you can send an XML SOAP or SOAP request and read response using Java. Okay, so I'll be showing you a real time example how you can uh, create a request and send the request and uh, get uh, the response from the server with a real time example. And this is purely on Java without any uh, third party JAWS or any other utilities. So to demonstrate how we can send an SOAP XML request, I have found a website. Uh, so the website name is holidayWebService.com. Actually, this website has some services where we can send uh, the XML request and that will give us a XML response. Okay. So here, uh, just go to this website. You can see a services available option is here and you can see the holiday service too so we are going to check this one if you are clicking uh, there you can see all the available uh, services I mean all available services will be there so directly go to this URL okay go to web service .com. so as you can see uh, there are six uh, different uh, web services in in this website so each one is different so we will uh, check one by one okay so first one is the get countries available so this get countries available uh, is a service which will return us all the available country names and country codes which we can use for these other services okay so if you are uh, just invoking this directly you can see here yes which means it will return us all the uh, all the country codes of uh, the available website I mean uh, available countries in this web service for example for uh, this service get holidays available if you are checking this one you can see here you have to you can call this uh, service by passing the country code so we can get a take a country code from here so the country code for the great britain is this one just copy this from here and paste it here and just click invoke it will give us all the uh, available uh, holidays okay all the available holidays in uh, that country okay so this uh, on clicking invoice it is actually sending a, a post request with the holiday i mean with the uh, country code uh, to uh, this link okay so i will show you sending the xml uh, version of uh, this request so i have installed a web service client in my uh, pc the web service client e name is postman okay this is actually a, a, an extension which you can install uh, in uh, your chrome or in your browser so just search for like uh, uh, postman chrome app you will get that from the chrome web store okay you can just click that and as i have already installed i can just click directly launch if you are not installed it will be installed uh, the app option here okay so i'm directly launching that app now so this is my postman uh, web service client where you can send uh, the xml request or any web service request through this okay so let's uh, go back to the service so we are going to get uh, we, are, we are going to call this get countries available uh, web service first okay so we have to pass uh, the request uh, to this link so copy that link from here and uh, paste it here okay so we are going to submit a post request just select the as it as post and you can see here uh, how we have to send uh, the request so we are going to test 1.2 actually this is a different version you can select any one of that so we are going to select so 1.2 so this is the xml request we have to pass okay just copy this complete xml request from here and uh, come back to here and in the body section you can uh, send it as a raw data so select it as raw paste the xml request completely here and this is of type uh, xml text or xml okay it's uh, mentioned here the type is uh, no the content type is a soap plus xml just copy the content type from here and uh, i think it will work let's see, see sending the request just click on send and what is the yes it has uh, uh, worked you can see here or uh, the xml response of uh, this request has been listed out here okay so this is xml response which we got on sending this xml request to this link okay so we can try one more the other one the other one was uh, to get to list all the holidays available for a particular country so for that let me open a new request here so the url which we have to submit is this one copy it completely from here and paste it the url here 
and select uh, the types uh, request type as post and in the body you have to uh, so you have to pass a an XML request text or XML request so here the request code type is uh, yeah you can use this one itself just copy it completely from here this is a request uh, XML request we have to pass copy it from here and paste it here you can see here there are different uh, type of uh, I mean different countries are already listed here so I'll set it as United States only yes let's see if you are just uh, so there is an error here what is the error okay we have uh, missed out this one okay now yes everything is said we have uh, uh, this is the XML request which we are submitting to this link okay so just click send again and now so let's see the response you can see here all the uh, the response of uh, I mean the holidays are listed as an XML so however just shown you how we can manually pass the XML request now I'm going to show you how we can do this through Java okay you have to create the XML request through Java and send the request and get back the response from the server okay so uh, this is my Eclipse ID for Java developers. If you don't have your Eclipse ID for Java developers, go to my videos. I have another video how you can install uh, and uh, configure the Eclipse ID for Java developers in your PC. Okay. So in this Eclipse ID, I'm going to create a simple Java project where we can send the XML uh, SOAP request to a link. Okay. Now let me create a new uh, Java project. So select new and uh, select uh, the application type as uh, simple java project and i am giving the name of the project as uh, send xml soap okay press everything i am keeping, keeping it as default and just click finish okay yes and now I'm going to create a, a package inside the default SRC uh, folder. So the package name I'm giving it as com.chillifax.com. So inside this, I'm going to create a Java class. The class name I'm giving it as uh, send XML SOAP. Okay. Now inside this, I'm going to create a main method where I can call directly to send uh, uh, that uh, XML request okay now inside this I am going to copy paste a code directly I have tested it and it's working fine so I'm the uh, first time let me copy paste and I'll uh, explain how it works okay so this is the code uh, to send uh, the request so let's import all these uh, all these things so just just press control space and uh, select the, the appropriate uh, classes they select it and output stream is from java.io and this is actually in xml and buffer reader is from java.io and input stream reader is also from java.io okay now it's showing error it's yeah it's an handled exception you can just give a try catch block completely here so if there is any exception in this code it will be caught here and we can just bring that exception here okay Yes, we are set for everything. So what we have to do first, we have to set the URL. So first, we have to get the URL. So the URL is uh, we'll try the get countries available first. So this is the URL. Copy it completely from here and paste the URL here. Okay. So the request method we have set it as post. Now in the request property, we can set the header. So as per the documentation here we have to add uh, the post we'll add the content type only it will work with content type if you want to add these you can directly add the uh, like uh, the one we are adding the content type just copy the content type from here and here and paste in the record property the content type and uh, the content type is application slash soap plus xml till the care set okay copy it from here and paste it here now next we have to set the XML so we'll take the XML directly from here copy it from here I'll show you that we cannot directly paste it here because as there is a double quotes here we should take the double quotes uh, from the XML here so first thing we have to take the double quote so for that just copy it in the notepad and 
just press control H and we have to replace all the double quotes with uh, backslash double quotes okay now just click uh, replace all so it will replace everything and make it in one line so to make it in one line there is an online tool just go to your chrome and uh, just search for remove next line online there is online tools for that just click on the first link this is the text filter dot text fixer.com and where you can just paste it your paste your xml request and just click remove line break so it will all the line breaks will be removed you can directly copy it from here and paste it as the new xml here okay as you can see there is no error so first we had to uh, take back all the uh, single quotes to backslash uh, uh, I mean all the double quotes to backslash double slash and make it in all one line so all the, uh, the XML will be in one line yes everything is set we are ready for testing we are uh, ready for sending the post request to this link for using this XML okay now just uh, go to run as and just select Java application so once you submitted you can see here the response is coming this is the response actually so this is the xml response coming from the server so it will be like this always in one line so you can format it online just select search xml formatter online okay so there is a website freeformatter.com just select that where you can directly paste your current xml and just click on format xml so you can see here all that uh, xml response is format so this is the response which we got from the java code here okay so hope you got this have shown you how you can send that xml uh, using uh, xml request and uh, to this url in a post method and this is a, a hard coded one so in your project you can make it as a as a dynamic one with uh, the parameters setting uh, inside so i'll show you the next one also let me go we directly just uh, tested this get countries available only we'll try to test uh, this get holidays where we have to pass the country code okay so we'll try that one here so let me uh, copy paste this uh, java class so we can try the next one so i am uh, giving uh, the name as uh, underscore two and inside this we'll uh, will update uh, the things okay so the next uh, next service which had we test is uh, get whole days available just copy the url from here and paste the url directly here okay now the xml is uh, different here so let me take the xml from here and first with what you have to do you have to take the back uh, double quotes into backslash double quotes copy that into a new notepad just press control H and replace with double quotes with the uh, uh, backslash double quotes okay just click replace all and copy this from here again and go to your uh, remove this one textfixer.com you can paste uh, your you, you can paste your XML here and just click on remove line breaks okay so once you click the line breaks will be removed so you can directly copy it from here and come back to our code and we can paste inside this one second we can paste inside this okay so let me reformat this one as uh, the as it can it will look like an xml okay let me reformat that just press enter from here so you can see i have just reformatted that so here is a where we have to add uh, uh, the country code okay so you can make it as dynamic like this so i'm just keep creating a new string value here so the string value i'm giving it as country code so you can set the country code here and this country code you can use inside this okay so it will be like uh, uh, it plus this yeah like this okay so this country code is dynamic now we can set any country code here so let's try a different country code okay so we'll be trying a country yeah so we'll be trying a country canada so this is the code just copy it from here and paste it here okay yes everything is perfect so we have uh, created a dynamic xml request with uh, the country code as canada so rest everything is same let's try just go to run as and just select run as java application 
and it will return us the XML response. You can see this is the XML response of all the uh, of all the uh, holidays of uh, this uh, particular country. Okay, so you can just copy this XML and let's uh, reformat this. How this look? Just go to uh, this website freeformatter.com where you can uh, paste the complete XML here again and just press format XML. Okay. So it will format that for you like this. Yeah. So this is the XML which we have got, which we have got as the response from the server. Okay. So hope you got this. I have shown you how you can create an XML uh, request and send that uh, as a SOAP request uh, and uh, in a post method to a URL and read uh, the response from that. Okay. Actually, the response is a string here. You can, it, this is a string value. You can further make uh, read this, uh, convert this XML into a Java format and Java class format and uh, pass that according to that. So I'm not showing that one here. I have another video for that, how we can uh, convert an XML into a Java object. Okay. So go to my videos and search for that. So hope you got this. If you have any doubt in this, please comment below. I'll share all the source code in my description. You can have it. And please like and subscribe for my videos. And thanks for watching.